Okay, I'm going to start my discussion now. I'm going to go in detail, as I discussed, Colin Jost and his lineage, the known in Europe for centuries, the character defect of the Jost, okay? And also, he is named after their most notorious signature, shocking, heinous crime against women, the colon hoist, okay? This is the thing with the Jost. They are notorious, and they get women. Why? Because they have, quote-unquote, sexual stamina. They won't come most of the time, okay? The problem is this is, their orgasm, they have a demonic gene, their Nephilim from Arius, their ancient seed of Arius. Their best orgasms come when they murder their women in broad daylight, in the most heinous means. And the signature move of the Jost was the colon hoist, where one of the line, who always satisfied their wife, but never had an orgasm, so the wife's enamored with him, because this I'm, he's just hard dick forever. The problem is, he's so pent up and he can't ejaculate, because he can only ejaculate when the woman is in some sight of outrageous pain, that's what makes them really come the best. It puts them in pleasure oblivion. They have an outrageous character defect. It's stone demonic. And so, this freaking dude put a hook up into her woman, the woman's bowels and hoisted her up, pulled her inside out, and ripped her colon out and hung her. And then he came. So the same woman who thought that this man... This Jost was Mr. Super Lover, found out the hard way that he was a monster with a character defect sexually. This is the Jost line, and this is the person that the U.S. government deliberately handpicked by man control state for Scarlett Johansson to find out the hard way ain't her friend. Just like she found out the way Disney treats her at the top and all the others. They put you up there so you can lose your mind in front of a whole planet. They hoist you up the same way the Joes do and put you into an open scene, okay? This is the problem of the American nonsense that in Europe was always known. Everybody was white at first. So white didn't mean nothing. It still don't mean nothing. And that's the problem with white America. It never did mean nothing. Since the fuck when does it mean something now to be white? It never did. In an all-white Europe, it didn't mean nothing. You had to check their character because you'd be dead. The problem is, it doesn't mean anything, and it never did, and it never will. And that's the horse shit of white America. It still don't mean jack shit. When the fuck does being white mean something? It never did. The white Europeans called it contumelier. Like, who the fuck you think you're talking to? A fucking fool? They fucking kill you for saying the shit that a white America puts you on top. Are you listening to me at all? Like Hella said, are you are you ever hearing a word I said? You know, just like she said in the movie. Are you people hearing one thing I said? Where the fuck do you people come from for this bullshit? In a all-white society, and even in China, in China, when, no one, when there's no immigration, they all have the similar complexion. So... Since when the fuck was just being a Chinese give you some carte blanche? It never did. So it never will. So what the fuck are you white Americans talking about with this bullshit about being white among your people? It's a crock of outrageous content. It's an absolute insult to your intelligence, your eyes, your ears. It's like in Europe it would be a sin of and they would take you out and they'd hoist you the fuck up. It's absolute bullshit. So when is it ever not bullshit? It's not. That's the problem with America. America is a place where Jost and a lot of creepy, rotten, stone murderers that were outcasts from Europe came, hid behind Protestantism and other stuff, so they could feast on the beautiful ones like Scarlet and the others, like at the top, that you would kill for in Europe. So you gradually fed into the fucking bullshit that made them. Europe rejected it as Christians and it made you great. So now you're falling back into the crock of horse shit that you kill someone from for trying to put in your face when you're an all-white continent. It's bullshit.
It means nothing. It never did and never will. It means someone's insulting you, fellow white person, to your face, talking to you like a fucking idiot, and you need to call them on it. That's the problem white America has. They've taught you to feed yourselves without a qualm while you're being completely insulted to the core by some complete bullshitter like Trump, who's an absolute Nazi fucker, and then wants to tell you because I'm white, I'm your friend, and the black's not, and you fuck into that absolute asinine moron crock of bullshit. That, like I said, Europeans became Greek because they rejected it when they were all white, and they knew it was bullshit. Like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? We're all white. Since the fuck when do you have a car punch over all of us? You're fucking insulting us to the core. You really think we're fucking stupid. They'd fucking kill you on the spot. That's what made Europe great. Not being so fucking white. Okay? It's like I have to come back to common fucking existence since number one in America because we're literally a fucking moron mind control state. The most stupid asinine shit that even the fucking animals knows is fucking bullshit. A lice is white. Who gives a fuck? It's still a lice. A creep, that's a white creep, still a fucking creep. Trump's a creep. A white maggot's a maggot. A maggot's a maggot. Just because it white doesn't make it all right. Human, whatever, it still means white doesn't mean you're all right. That's fucking moron shit number one. What the fuck don't y'all understand? Well, then why do you still tolerate racism at the top? I got more sense than all your fucking leaders. Where the fuck are you people? You're, you've been taught to be calm about something. That should make you infuriated. You're complaining completely insulted at white people. That's whites. How do you fucking think that's blacks feel? They insult you to your face with an absolute crock of total bullshit as white people. That, like I said, the rejection of it as spiritual people made Europe great. Because they learned to discern and figure out what was good and bad. And weren't a bunch of fucking morons. Okay? So white America wants to exalt stupidity. Okay, so that the creeps can feast on the people that wouldn't tolerate you before. And that's the fucking problem. So that you creeps in America can feast on whites that would fucking kill you for the bullshit. Now it's okay. Okay, and that's why the whole fucking plan is going down the toilet morally. Okay, because y'all fed into a crock of bullshit that is absolute asinine that no one in their right man would tolerate. Okay, that's the problem with America. And that's my point. We're talking about the colon hoist that line of people was damned long ago okay so to come over america now he's married to an absolute royal sea brit woman okay the same line that they will fucking kill you on site because they were no tort they have a name for being fucking horrible with women okay that's the kind of horse shit we're going on in america with america okay that's the problem with our country and that's why we're having nothing but problems Curse by all the gods. Curse. Problem. Problem. Coronavirus. Fires. No, all we have is problems because the rulers are fed into horse shit and they won't keep their word, okay? So the people do way worse, okay? Everything's a convoluted, mixed up piece of fucking shit, okay? That's America's problem, okay? But don't get upset about it, okay? Just pretend everything's fucking hunky-dory, okay? That's exactly what the creeps want you to do while they fuck you in your ass every kind of way in broad daylight. Mentally, emotionally, and insult your intelligence to your face. But don't get upset. Let's do the political horseshit. You no, know, you got only you say things in public. You can't say that. You know, don't call a spade a spade. Just make pretend everything's fucking perfect, you know. Peachy king. You know, because see, we're all white here, you know. The same shit, like I said, that in Europe, they'd fucking kill you for because it's it's, you're insulting them to their face. That's why Europe was powerful. And when y'all lost that, you started going down immediately okay it's called uh being a human being and not being an idiot and thinking okay that like i said with balaam and his donkey the damn dumbass was smarter than him that's where we are that balaam's ruling and the dumbasses are still trying to pull out okay because um i ain't a dumbass and i'm not going to do that but y'all still following balaam or Bayor, okay the fucking moron fucking moron it's it's beyond stupid okay your eyes tell you different you still feed into it your ears tell you different you still feed this white shit your fucking nose taste everything in your body and your thoughts tell you this is bullshit then you just play along with it anyway just make pretend okay well where the fuck are y'all see this is our problem in america so like i said i'm in a car so nobody can hear me because this is the event. This is what you people need to be upset about. And stop beating into this fucking bullshit. 
okay? You can have two white persons, one could be completely trustworthy, the other an absolute scumbag. And this is common sense. So when the fuck does white ever be okay? It's never just okay to be white. Well, then why the fuck do y'all make this falsehood ever reality? Well, then why do you keep doing it? Well, then fucking stop and get upset about it, okay?